Australian Prime Minister Anthony Albanese received a guard of honor on board India's first indigenous aircraft carrier and he also reviewed the naval Tejas aircraft. He also used the landmark visit to declare that India is a top tier defense partner and that the Indian armed forces will join the Talisman Sabre War Games in Australia in July this year and Australia will also host the Malabar naval exercise for the first time this year which will include the four quad countries. The Royal Australian Air Force has announced its plans to acquire 40 new advanced jet trainers, and the decision about a new trainer will be made in 2026, and contract will be signed in 2027. India had initially offered the Tejas lift variant under a government-to-government -government deal, but media reports indicate that development of the lift variant has been dropped, and chances are that India might offer the HLFT-42 next-generation supersonic trainer to Australia. Private sector firm Saga Defence had supplied 30 units of its spotter drone to Indian Navy in 2022, and as per latest information, the Indian Navy has placed a second order for 60 spotter drones from the company, that will be delivered by October 2023. The spotter is a ship-based tactical spotting multi-copter drone, that is equipped with an electro-optic camera and thermal imager camera to scan any region of interest for target detection and intervention. It has a flight time of 120 minutes on a single flight in a rough sea environment, endurance of 20 km, a payload carrying capacity of 3 kg, and a maximum speed of 70 km per hour. China is pushing for the sale of JF-17 fighter jet to Argentina, that has been offered with Chinese WS-13 engines and Chinese ejection seats, along with a production line to develop more customizable fighter jets for the Argentine Air Force. India has also made a similar offer to Argentina for the sale of its Tejas fighter jet with non-British parts. But experts have said that Chinese offer is more interesting, as China has promised that the Argentine production line will also be used for export of the aircraft to potential new customers, and will replace Pakistan in JF-17 co-production process. However, there is considerable pressure from the American establishment on Argentina, to go for second-hand Danish F-16 or some other aircraft that is not Russian or Chinese. Amid an Argentinian media report, that due to delays in Hindustan Aeronautics HJT-36 program, the Indian Air Force is interested to procure the IA-63 Pampa 3 trainer from Argentina, the Indian Air Force has said that it is not considering to import any intermediate jet trainers, and plans are to procure the indigenous HJT-36, as it is all set to complete final certification trials in the next 12 months. The Indian Navy has culminated its major operational level exercise Tripex 2023, that was conducted across the expanse of the Indian Ocean over a duration of four months from November 2022 to March 2023. The exercise saw significant participation from the Indian Army, Indian Air Force and the Coast Guard, and witnessed the participation of 70 Indian Navy warships, 6 submarines and over 75 aircraft. I'm <laughs> sorry.